I might look ridiculous now, but I will soon look amazing. Just you wait. Oh my gosh, that's never happened before. You know, I wish I had like a more kind of presentable underwear on today. Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I would like to do a little bit of heatless styling with my hair. I'm gonna switch up my curl pattern a little bit. I'm gonna play with some waves. So we're gonna do one of my favorite heatless styling methods. We're gonna do wave formers. I have got high hopes for this because it usually works pretty well when I do it. We will have to wait and see how it turns out. But I'm actually more excited because this is gonna be the first time that I'm doing this in my colored hair. So I actually have highlights in my hair right now. You can't really tell because my hair is wet, so it looks very dark. But when it dries, it will have a kind of like brown highlights. And in it. I just really wanna see how those look with the waveformers in it. So this is what the waveformers look like. If you don't know about waveformers, if you haven't really heard of them or like played with them before, then let me tell you a little bit more about these. So I call them waveformers because they are shaped like a wave and they will help your hair become shaped like a wave. I don't think we're supposed to call them waveformers and that's because there is a company called Curlformers. So I think I have to call this now something else hair curlers hair wavers magic hair wavers anyway so i really really love these because these have worked really nicely in my hair before they're really easy to do like i hope you can see that this is essentially like a very like stretchy mesh and it's very breathable and there's lots of holes in there so your hair is going to sit inside there and where it has all these little holes and it's a mesh it allows all of the moisture to escape and these dry really quickly so these should only really take like a couple hours to like fully dry it's not going to be like some other heatless curls methods where you're literally waiting for your entire life for it to dry like these actually dry really quickly i have the longest ones that i could find i think these come out to about 20 24 inches something like that um when they're pulled straight it should be enough for my hair this time so i'm actually going to start with the top section of my hair and i'm going to do this first and that's just because i don't know if i have enough waveformers to cover all of my hair and i don't want to run out by doing the bottom first and then running out at the top i'd rather run out at the bottom and then i can find another solution for the bottom so if you have thick hair and you're worried about that as well then i would recommend starting at the top have this top section fix my parting a little bit and i always do that with my fingers so whenever you do anything that alters your curl pattern so be it a braid out a twist out or waveformers like this you always want to start on wet hair because wet hair will dry into the new shape and that's why i've started on freshly washed hair but it has dried out a little bit just as i'm setting everything up so i'm gonna spray i have a little bit of leave-in conditioner in my hair already but I have a secret weapon that always works amazingly with my braid outs and I want to give it a go with the waveformers. My twist and braid cream. Don't at me, okay? Like, I know that this is an old tub of the Flora and Curl twist and braid cream. It's actually not even in a tub anymore. They redesigned all of their ranges and this actually comes now in a bottle with a squirty pump. But I love this stuff. I can't just waste a whole tub. I'm gonna put a picture of the new bottle here. So if you guys do wanna try this with your braid outs, with your waveformers, whatever, then this is what it looks like now. I always go with this one. and I'm just gonna brush that through to make sure that, that is evenly applied. And now I can start with the waveform. So when I do have my top section like this, I am gonna start at the bottom. So I'm gonna split my hair like this. So in order to use the waveformer, you're gonna need the hook. So this comes actually split into three and you have to put them all together and it's really easy. <laughs> easier than I made it look. And then you just take one of the waveformers and then you take a section of your hair about an inch square like this. Make sure there's no hair kind of around it. And 
And for me, it's really important to make sure that they kind of line up. So I want them to be like this. Need them to be on the same wavelength. Like this, you see? Same wavelength. I also have one of the old bottles of the Flora and Curl Curl Defining Gel because I have one of the big tubs. So obviously this was difficult to get through, but I really love this and I really hope that this is going to work just on the ends of my hair to prevent any frizz on the ends of my hair. I know it's a curl defining gel, but I didn't really have any like non curling gels. So hopefully this isn't gonna take away from the new shape of the curl former. Put this on. And you just kind of have to pull that through. So you really, really, really need to just make sure that there is no hair kind of getting in the way that's kind of wrapped around the hook you just want to make sure that it's all come through the hook you see like there's nothing getting in the way of the hook because if there is that is going to get tangled when you try to pull your hair through the waveformer i've had it before where you will try to pull your hair through and it gets stuck and you see people kind of trying to pull it through don't you have to just stop and start again because there would have been a problem with hair in the hook like right from the start i don't mind if my partings aren't completely straight and actually i think that that makes it better in the final result because it means that your hair blends better and you don't just have like grid lines all over your hair in the final result oh, oh my gosh my hook broke that's never happened before Let's try that again. Okay, so I've done the top half of my head. Now it's time to do the back bottom half of my head. So I've sectioned my hair off. I've counted up how many waveformers I have. I have 10 left. So 10 blue, 10 yellow. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough as long as I keep track of my sections. Okay, so the hard part is over. Listen, I might look ridiculous now, but this is gonna be worth it. Can you imagine if our hair just like grew like this? Like imagine if, I just had like the most sickening thought. Like you know how your hair and nails are made of the same thing? Why am I having this thought? <laughs> imagine your hair grew like nails and your nails grew like hair. That is the most disgusting thing that I've ever like seen in my mind's eye. And now you can see it too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how my hair is going to turn out. I just need to dry it first. So I am just going to let it air dry. That's just because I want this to be a truly heatless styling method. I have got coloured hair now. It's a bit more delicate. I really don't want to be applying heat on it unnecessarily. So I am just going to let this air dry naturally. And like I said... These are made from mesh, they're really breathable, and you don't have very much hair in each one, so they do actually dry quite quickly. And then I'll be back and we can see the final result. Ah, I'm excited! Hello, friends and family. I am back, it is a brand new day. It's the following morning. I went to sleep with these in my hair let that sink in i slept with this overnight hence why i have a scarf tied around because i was walking around i was making dinner i was doing all my stuff i was like cleaning and stuff and these kept coming in front of my face so i decided just to kind of like loosely tie them back like i don't think i was finished doing these until about 5 30 6 p.m last night I kind of figured they might take about four hours to dry naturally or something like that but when it got to 9 p.m i just didn't want to be sat in front of studio lighting filming like because i go to bed at like nine like i literally get into bed and i read at nine so <laughs> that's what happened guys it was hard what i would recommend if you do not want to apply any heat to your hair and you don't want to rush the drying process just do them earlier in the day. I just remembered that I had a nightmare <laughs> that I woke up and I went to the bathroom and half of these were not in my hair anymore. Like I'd, I'd like ripped them all out while I was sleeping out of frustration. They weren't dry and they'd gone frizzy and I was like so upset. It's finally time to take these down. It's pretty chunky. You can tell that that one has a lot of hair in it. So if this one's dry and this is one of the last ones I did, then they should all be dry. And you literally just pull it. It really couldn't be easier. I think that's dry, you know? <gasps> Yay! Oh, I get so nervous. 
Oh my gosh, I just love these. Just get those ends done. And I can see my color, yay. That's what I wanted really. I'm so happy! Oh my gosh! Now, this one right here, this is your reminder to make sure that it went smoothly through the waveformer because I have a little squiggle right there where it obviously got caught. Yes! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! Okay, this is the last one coming out! That is my waveformers. I'm just really, really happy with how it turned out because you can really see my highlights. And this is kind of the first time since I've had these done that you can actually see them and like see where they're placed and, you know, actually get a feel for those. And yeah, this has just been like a really fun way that I can play with hair texture without using heat. I'm just going through the roots right now, just kind of separating the little partings where everything was and i'm actually going to take some serum right now this is the coco and eve like a virgin miracle hair elixir and i'm just going to apply some of this to the ends because i don't want the ends to go frizzy and i just want them to have a little bit of extra nourishment as well so that's just going on the ends but i won't apply it through the lengths because i don't want my hair to look stringy or like it's got too much product on which is a risk like in these kind of textures like if you have your hair straight or if you have it wavy then products will look heavier than they look when you have your hair curly i'm truly obsessed with that i love that i love that result so much i've left all of the products that i've used i've left them linked in the description box down below so make sure you check those out so i'm gonna head out now I'm actually heading out to Dyer's clinic and hopefully we're just going to have some body treatments like presser therapy, maybe some sculpting. I will maybe bring you along to that as well actually. Hi guys, so I've just arrived at Dyer's clinic in Notting Hill in London and I'm going to have a few like body treatments. So I'm really excited. These should be like really relaxing treatments and hopefully my body's just going to look like snatched afterwards. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. It'll be nice, but I think. Yeah. I feel like nice. Very light. Help? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I just had the press therapy treatment. I was actually in this little space suit for 55 minutes she told me but it didn't feel like that long because i literally fell asleep like it was so peaceful it feels like you have like four people massaging you all at once and like the pressure was intense like whenever i have a massage i love to, to have like harder pressure and that was just great you know i wish i had like a more kind of presentable underwear on today like even a bikini or at least a matching set because I want to show you like the before and after of just like the muscle tone and the lymphatic drainage that you get with this. So thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed it i really hope that maybe you learned something as well if you did please give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me get me on instagram and tiktok as well because i'm there all the time have an amazing week guys and i will see you in the next video bye yeah,